completely hook up your harnesses, um, including your legs on your harnesses. Um, I've seen a lot of drivers out there, oh, I'm just going to go grab something real quick, and they just hook the one around their chest and leave their legs swinging while they go grab something because they're going to take it off. Okay, um, but if you misstep, and or you slip or something happens, you are not going to be able to hold yourself in that harness. You will fall out of it. So please always make sure you also have your legs hooked up at all times while you're operating that order picker, okay? We want to make sure everybody goes home at the end of the day. Okay. Um, picking up a load. If the load has an uneven shape, be aware of any special stacking requirements before picking up the load. So true. Um, if you're going to go pick up a pallet and it looks like it's unstable, um, they might kind of fall apart when you pick it up, depending on how it's stacked. If you have to restack it, add some wrap to it, whatever you got to do to make that load stable, we want to do that, okay? Make it easier for you so you don't have to clean up a mess. And how is picking up and engaging a load different on a reach and an order picker? Okay, so... Um, we have quite a few of you that operate the reach trucks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so on a reach truck, for anybody who hasn't operated one, um, you have to you extend out your forks into your pallet. You have to raise it up and then bring it back over the front of your outrigger legs. Okay. So that's the biggest thing. You just can't pull it in because you'll pull your forks right out of your pallet. So you always have to um, be careful for the outrigger legs in the front of a reach truck that you clear those legs, okay? And uh, keep your pallet just high enough to, to be on top of it. We don't want to set it directly on top of the, the legs on there. And then on an order picker, if we're you know, um, picking up a pallet, just back into it all the way. Make sure you set your clamp to hold your um, the lock to, hold, to clamp onto your pallet to secure it to you. And then go, okay? Does anybody have any questions so far? No. No. No? Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started with the next section, okay? When you operate a forklift, you always need to pay close attention to what's going on around you. That's especially true when you're traveling. Let's look at some general rules for moving and maneuvering safely. The first rule, the lower the load, the more stable it is. Always travel with the forks and the load at the lowest safe height. That's usually about two to four inches off the ground, though you may have to raise them slightly to travel over bumps or seams. Never raise or lower the load while you're in motion. Your combined center of gravity will become a moving target, one you may not be able to control. Another important rule, always look in the direction of travel and keep a clear view of your path. Even without a load, visibility is somewhat restricted by the forklift apparatus. Now add a load and your line of sight can be severely impaired. If you can, split stacked or large loads to move them. If you can't split the load and it blocks your view, travel in reverse, use a spotter, or both. Spotters must be able to quickly notify you of hazards. Trouble can happen fast. Know ahead of time that you and your spotter are on the same page when it comes to hand signals. Remember that your forklift has rear steering, and that means its rear end will swing wide when turning a corner. The opposite is true when you're backing a forklift. Now the front of the load will swing, so make sure there's plenty of clearance. What's a safe traveling speed for a forklift? That depends on what you're moving, the space available, and other traffic, as well as things like bumps, depressions, or debris. It's not easy to stop or swerve with a heavy forklift. Even an empty forklift can tip over if you swerve or corner too fast. Always go slow enough to maneuver and stop safely at any time. Watch for wet, oily, or icy surfaces along your route. Avoid them when you can, and get someone to clean them up as soon as possible. 
Ramps or inclines can present special problems for forklifts, and that means you need to pay special attention when you encounter them. If you drive with a load on an incline, keep the load on the uphill side. Otherwise, the unit's weight may shift forward and off the rear steer wheel, compromising your control. It can also shift your load forward, causing the load to fall off or the forklift to tip. When traveling without a load, the fork should point downgrade, regardless of direction. Also, avoid surfaces that would cause the truck to tilt sideways. It's only a short distance from a tilt to a tip over. That also means never turn on a ramp or incline. This may sound obvious to you, but Others have learned the hard way. Also keep a safe distance from the edge of ramps or dock platforms. Here again, many operators have learned a hard lesson by experience. If you're working in an area with railroad tracks, approach the tracks at a 45 degree angle to avoid getting stuck or losing balance. When traveling among other forklifts, keep a distance of at least three forklift lengths in front of and behind you. Don't pass another forklift traveling the same direction if you're at an intersection, a blind spot, or any other dangerous location. Really, it's safer just to avoid passing altogether. It should go without saying that stunt driving or horseplay are never acceptable. Forklifts are tools, not toys. Never give anyone a ride on your forklift either, unless it's designed for passengers. And never travel with any part of your body outside of the protective frame. A hand or foot could easily get pinched or crushed. Pedestrians are a fact of life in virtually all work environments. And just as in other driving situations, pedestrians always have the right of way. Thing is, in your workplace, there may not be nice, neat walkways to keep pedestrians and vehicle traffic separate. That's why you always need to be alert. Use the convex mirrors if your workplace has them. And remember to sound the horn and proceed with care at all intersections. Never approach someone head-on who's standing in front of a bench, wall, or other fixed object. Your forklift could lurch forward and pin or crush them. Instead, approach parallel to the person in the fixed object. Finally, even if you're not carrying a load, don't let anyone walk under your raised forks. It's just not safe. Picking up a load is one thing. Traveling safely with it is another. But placing a load at its destination also requires the utmost care from you.